Where to, mate? Chelsea Flower Show, please, mate. Oh, I like the jacket. Very nice, my friend. Yeah, give us uh, 10 minutes, alright, and we'll be there, our sunshine. Nice one. Oh, let's win some of the uh, old gardening pals. Hello? Hey, Foster, it's Lee, Skinny Jean Gardening, right, mate? Billy Jean? Skinny, Skinny Jean. No, sorry. What? Billy Jean, someone famous, isn't it? No, Skinny, isn't it? Skinny Jean. Skinny Jean who? Gardener. Skinny Jean, Skinny Jean Gardener. Yeah. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Who would garden in Skinny Jeans? That's uncomfortable. No, 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 seriously, mate. I honestly don't know who you're talking about, I promise you. I'm sorry. Anyway, have a lovely day. Cheers, pal. Frosty? Frosty? I do get some really strange phone calls. Just <clears throat> banter. I know who will answer. I know who will answer. Big Z. Ah, Big Z. Hey, Big Z. Oh, hello, mate. Yeah, I'm on the way to Chelsea, mate, for uh, uh, the show, isn't I? Have you got the golden jacket? Mate, of course I've got the old gold jacket on. You're joking, yeah? Oh, great stuff, great stuff. Good luck. Nice one, dude. Well, I'll see you very soon, all right? I'll see you soon, right. Oh, a uh, uh, video message, here we go. Trey Dog. Lee, Matt Biggs just called me and said that you uh, were going to Chelsea. Is that right? I am. Yeah, I am, mate. Yeah, going to Chelsea. Okay. Are you taking the gold jacket? Because... Got it on. I don't know whether anyone's going to let you in, ever. What? All right, okay. Well, good luck to you, my son. Have fun. Cheers, Dad. Son, sits there. My dad. Here you go, Governor. Chelsea Flair Show. Just on, just here, mate. Just on the side here. That'd be great. Thank you. Cheers, nice one, mate. Thank you. Let's do this. Hello and welcome everyone, my name's Lee Connolly, the Skinny Jean Gardener and today I am going to be doing my big garden entertainment show right here from home. So tune in and let's do it. This show is a little bit different from everything else. If you've tuned in to Virtual RHS Chelsea this week then you would have seen I've been talking about kids gardening, grow your own wildlife and a little bit of fun to get the kids outside. If you've not seen it yet, go check those videos out. But this is a lot of fun. Every year I bring out the biggest garden entertainment game show just for you guys to see. And unfortunately, it's not gonna be touring this year, but we are gonna make the most of it here at home with a few little games, a few little ideas that you can do at home. Right, let's get into it. Loads of different things happening. Uh, on today's show, so let's start with Sew It In One. Okay, Sew It In One works a little bit like this. I think there's three ways, oh yes, keeping it to the number three, three ways that you can sow your seeds at home. Now you may have missed the boat on some of these seeds, but it's good to know for the future. So I'm gonna sow them in one minute. That's right, three different types of seeds, three different time ways to, actually if I did it, it would be better if I did it in three minutes, wouldn't it? But Let's give ourselves a challenge, shall we? One minute, what should we do, one minute? Okay, one minute to sow three different types of seeds. Are you ready? Good, I'm glad, are you ready? Good, I'm glad you are, right. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Right, so there's different seeds. Uh, the first one we're gonna do is things like beans, pumpkins, really simple. Get, we're using a compostable cup. Soil, right to the top, full to the top, full of soil, then, you get your beans and just put one or two into the top. Push them straight down, one, two, straight in there. Nice and simple, that's the same with beans, pumpkins, peas, anything like that. Then you've got smaller seeds like tomato seeds. So almost fill to the top. Get them out, where are they? Come on, come on, tomato seeds. You don't get too many on these. Sprinkle a few on top and then you do something I like to call the J-O sprinkle. Sprinkle! Then, finally, you've got things like carrots, salad, anything like that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
we can do this. You go straight into the soil with these, run your hand down the soil, little sprinkle of them, boom, 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 cover them up, pat it down, and give it a really nice water. Have we done it? Oh, so close. <laughs> so there's three different ways that we sowed our seeds there. Um, I'll quickly give a quick recap for you. So the beans, things bigger like be uh, beans, peas, pumpkins, you basically fill your cup full of soil, then just push them straight into the soil. Boom, boom. It's that simple. Boom, boom. Easy peasy. Then you give it a nice good water and then you watch them grow. Don't put too many beans or too many peas in there because they need that space. They need that compost to get the goodness from. Then you've got things like tomatoes, peppers, chili peppers, if you like it nice and spicy. Those are a lot smaller seeds. So all you do is sprinkle a few on top and then you do something I like to call the J-O, Mr. Jamie Oliver sprinkle. Just a nice fine layer over the top. Really simple, really easy. And then finally, we're working with things like carrots, salads, which can go straight on top of the soil. Just run your hand, making a little bit of a furrow, if you like. Then you just sprinkle them down, cover it up, give it a nice sprinkle of water on top. So simple. And then you watch them pop up out of the soil. Those are the three ways that you can sow your seeds. I'd love you guys to tell me if you've sown your seeds already. If you have, hopefully you have by now. Hopefully you have by now, because some of these things should have already been done. But it's great to know for next year. And always, I always say this about sowing seeds, it's all about growing not too many. If you're starting off with gardening, don't grow too many seeds to start with. Start with five and you'll be okay. Right, let's get on to the next game now, where I will be testing Olive's knowledge of gardening down in that house. What? Is this? It's a carrot. It, it is a carrot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which means, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my. It don't keep going, does it? Oh, it's gonna go at any point, everyone. Okay. So, how often should you water your plants? Ten days or six days. That is the wrong answer. You should water them at least every day, especially in this sunshine. Are we ready? Oh, it got her in the face, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Olive loses today's Olive's Gardening Quiz. Thanks so much for playing, Olive. Can we do it? <laughs> I think that creating a garden together as a family is really important. Designing it from the very beginning to the very end makes kids want to get outside and care about the garden even more. So, here on the show, here's my top five things to get in your family garden. Obviously, it's one of those top five things that you should have in your family garden. Grow your own is really important. This is my strawberry bed. I absolutely love this area because, well, it's where I grow strawberries. And Olive loves strawberries. When she was two, I had a season where I didn't grow any strawberries at all. I was like, what's going on? Turns out she was eating them all. And they're in a truck about this high, a little bit too high for her to get to. So, what did I do? planted them a little bit lower so it's a lot easier and now she's always messing around in this bed waiting for those strawberries to come along it means she's getting out there gardening and caring about what she loves the most this was put together by a few scaffold boards and an old cold frame just loads of upcycling which i absolutely love upcycling and recycling which actually takes us on to our next thing we're doing it's the recycle station Welcome to the Recycle Station, where I'll be showing you guys a few ideas that you can do with stuff that you've just got around the house. There's so many things that we can create just with what we're throwing out. So let's get into it. The first thing is the good old cardboard tube. I love this one because you can do so much with it, especially if you're sowing seeds. So what we can do is, with our bean seeds, we can push them straight in, fill it with soil, push them straight in, then there's plenty of room for them. But also with smaller seeds, like tomato seedlings or anything like that, we just cut them in half, boom, straight down the middle. And what we're doing is creating a little mini pot. So we just do a one, a two, 
a three and a four, four tabs on the bottom, bring them all in, like so. Very simple, and what you've created is like a little tiny mini pot, you can start your uh, tomato seeds, your pepper seeds, anything nice and small can go in there. Remember, sprinkle the J.O. sprinkle over top, and you can start sowing in that. The same with things like eggs. Eggshells are a great way to get started with your seeds. So, again, have an egg sandwich, put some soil in there, let your seedling grow. A little bit of a crunch before you put it in the soil. That gives some goodness to your plant as well. And prevent them slugs from coming along and having a little munch on your seedlings. So eggshells are great. And also, same with egg boxes. Again, a great way, a great start for your seeds to grow in. Really simple, really easy to do that. Then we've got things like this. This is uh, some strawberries came in this plastic pot. Before we chuck it into the recycling, we can start sowing some seeds. Just fill it up, sow some cress, so anything like that. Some herbs that can sit on the windowsill and you can just pick in the kitchen. The same with your butter. And the great thing you can do with the lid of your butter is you can use this to put in the garden. Now, if you fill it with water, place it outside, maybe put a stone on top of it, then you can leave it out and the bees will come along and have a little drink. So it gives the bees a little place to have a little bit of a wash. Really simple, really easy. And then finally, the milk carton. You're getting milk, it's probably gonna come in one of these. You can create a few things with this. Now, just like us, at the end of a hard day, like our plants, they're working hard to grow, we love a nice warm bath. Although, oh, it's quite warm today. Maybe it's the glitzy jacket. So what we need to do, is we drill a few holes in the lid of our milk carton, fill it with water, then put it down at the end of the garden, wherever your little seedlings, wherever your veg is growing. And then throughout the day, the sun will heat that up, nice and warm, so when you get in from work, you can give it a little sprinkle, a little bit of a water, and the plants will absolutely love it. We can also, here we go, where are the scissors, Lee, where are the scissors? Create a few other things. So if you've not got a scoop, a compost scoop, we can create an awesome little compost scoop. Here we go. Just by cutting it at a bit of an angle, really quick. Again, I love these ideas because they're so simple, so easily made, they don't cost a penny. So we've created a really nice little compost scoop. We've got a big composter. Scoop out the compost with that. And even with the bottom part, you can create once again, somewhere to sow your seeds and start growing with. Here we go, keep going all the way around. As deep as you like it, really easy, really simple. And as a final bonus one, just remember this one, uh, with the rest you can create seed markers. So just very carefully cut them out, get the kids to draw on there and tell you what they're growing. You just plonk it into the soil, makes a great seed marker. There's loads, hey guys, there's loads more ideas in my new book, The Skinny Jean Gardener, How to Get Kids Gardening, available right now. But at the end of the show, you'll be in for a chance of winning the audio book. So stay tuned. Right, actually, we've come very close to the end of the show. Some of you may be happy with that. Some of you may be going, oh no, please give us more. Well, I'll be back next year with the biggest gardening entertainment show, so don't worry about that. So, should we go on to the final game of the show? Let's do it. Okay, so now it's time for the end of the show game, something totally new that we've never played before. And to play with me today, it is... Olive! Olive, are you ready to play this game? Right, we've never played this before, so you can win some big <laughs> prizes. What, what would you like to win? Um, seeds. Seeds? We can do seeds. Okay, right. So here's what you need to do. Firstly, you need to get hold of Mini Skinny Jean Gardener. Skinny what? That's Who is it? I don't know. It's Mini Skinny Jean Gardener. Oh, yeah. doot, 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 doot. Right, so what you need to do, Olive, 
is with Mr. Skinny Jean Gardener, Mini Skinny Jean Gardener, is you need to get the cup, you know how to sow the bean seeds, don't you? You need to put soil in, in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put soil in there and then plant up your bean seeds. Does that sound good? Yeah. Right, let's do it. Oh, let's do it. Let's show we have a countdown. Three, two, one. Go. Right, go, Olive. Go. Right, first things first, get the compost in there. Co compost? Yeah. Get it in there. Right, here we go. Right, get his arms in. I'll hold the cup. There we go. That's good. Good going. Here we go. Fill it up. Great control. There we go. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the other one hand? You hold one hand, I'll do the other hand. Right, go. Oh. Let's get it in there. Oh. Let me hold it. Okay, right. You, it. you hold the cup, ready? I'll hold the cup. Here we go. Ah. We almost got it to the top. Yep. Huh? Good well done. Good, good job. Right, next thing we need to do is plant the seeds. So you hold the ends. Mm -hmm. hold them straight. Really right. plant the seeds? Yeah, I'm going to put the seed on his hand. Put, bring them down a little bit. Bring them down. Right, here you go. Right, you've got the bean seed. Right, pl oh, right, we we'll try again. We we'll try again. Right, here we go. What well, the bean seed? You've got it. Right, He's pop it in it. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Right, turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh, oh right, it's in there. Right now, push it no, down. No, we need three. Right, we we'll put two in there. Put two in there. Right, go. There we go, right, push it down into it. Push it. Push it in, push it in. Right, now all you've got to do is carry it to over there. Right, carry the whole pot. Oh. Come on, Mom. You do Can it. You do it. Just, here we go, here we go. It's looking good. Here we go. And away she goes, everyone. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, stop the clock. We haven't got a clock, have we? But stop the clock. I think, Olive, you have won some seeds. Yeah, he's going to Thank you. Great. Don't say I never give you anything. Thanks so much for playing the end of the show game. And that's it for today's biggest garden entertainment show here on the RHS channels. I must say thank you very much to the RHS for giving me the platform to be here and hopefully I'll see you on a stage very soon with this exact show. If you want to get your hands on the audiobook, it's skinnyjingana.co.uk. You get it for absolutely free. So go find it there. Thanks very much for watching. Can I take this off now?